In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at how you can make more coins in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and in today's video, it is all about mutt. We're talking how to get more coins. What are some things you can do to enhance your ability to make more coins? And the first thing that I want to give you is uh, solo challenges. And the reason I want to talk about solo challenges is because I think a lot of people don't really use solo challenges to make more coins, but you can. And the way you do it is by clicking, obviously you know how to go into a solo challenge, but I want to talk about specifically how to make sure you're going to win them. And that's to use the run we talked about in a couple of videos ago. It comes from the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. And the play is strong power. Uh, now, again, I think this is one of the best plays in the entire game because if you use the motion with the receiver, you get a nice crack back block. And then, um, oh, we didn't go anywhere there. But you'll see this run. Uh, if you go no huddle out of this, this does really, really well. Um, one other thing that you can do with the solo challenges is if you run post routes, normally the post routes are open. And I'm looking really, really smooth right here to start off the game. So 4th and 21 is not quite where I wanted to be. But we'll see if we can pick this up here. Go zone of flood. But, uh, but like I said, you want to play solo challenges. And you really want to do is you want to be able to play. It's For some reason this year, they've been trying to um, change things up. Like I said, post routes are money. You can throw those as much as you want. I, I really like using, uh, again, we're in Arizona, but I really like just running the ball. Um, because two things is if you're winning, you can eat up, t you can control the clock when you run the ball because you don't have to worry about incomplete passes. You don't have to worry about any of that, really. Um, another reason that I like to run the ball whenever I'm playing a solo challenge is because I feel like I can control more when I'm going to score um, based on my running ability. So there's that crackback block. Here's strong power to the strong side um, with that crackback block. And like I said, you will pretty much guarantee yourself a couple yards every play. Um, it may take me a minute to get it going, but this is one of the best runs in the game because of the crack back block that you can do with your receivers. You can really use your receivers in the running game this year. Whereas in years prior, you wouldn't be able to. Um, another thing that I want to talk about with solo challenges, and this is really something that's, in my opinion, really, really important for you to know is sell all the players that don't play. Um, sell all the players that don't play. And the reason you want to do that is because um, you're going to be able to make m the most amount of coins. A lot of people will argue and say, well, you know, you make more coins on people if you wait for them to go on the auction for certain prices and you can kind of watch the auction block. And, and that may be true. But what I want to suggest to you is I think you can make a lot more coins um, if you just sell them, like just go, um, instead of waiting because you're going to actually be able to use the coins. Cause at the end of the day, the reason you want to make coins is so that you can buy players, um, to play. That's really the only reason my opinion, anyone would ever want to make any coins is so that they could buy better players. So again, you want to use the Arizona Cardinals playbook. You want to do all the solo challenges. If you want to pass the ball, you want to use that zone of flood play. If you want to run the ball, uh, you want to use this strong power. Like I said, there's no better run uh, than this strong power, especially when you get that motion. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get the motion right. But as you can see, once you get it right, it is money in the bank. So um, another thing you want to do is is to play the two-point conversion game. So the computer, in, and this is something I really like to do, is I like to set my settings to kick off. And what the computer is going to do is the computer is always going to kick a field goal if they, if they score. They're always going to they're always going to kick a field goal if they score. So what you can do is um, let them score first, so they kick a field goal, and then you get the ball in the second half. So if you time it right, um, what you can do with this is then you can run these quick pitch plays, which these quick pitch plays normally normally will get in for two points almost every time. The quick pitch will work um, on the goal line for a quick a quick little outside uh, outside running play. And so what, what you can do with those two things is now um, you can really flip the score and you can use the chew clock feature to just start diving down once you get up. Obviously, with the way the clock is on this game, I can't do that. And then I want to give you one other defensive play. And like I said, if you're interested in, in getting better offensively or defensively, I really want to encourage you to 
check out the premium membership. It's in the description. You can get it right now. It's really going to help you. It's going to come with. Um, it's going to come complete with eBooks. It's also going to have our um, weekly update videos, which the next one will be coming out tomorrow, uh, which is going to be pretty cool. So do that. Check out that premium membership. Like I said, you're going to get like six total eBooks over the course of the year, um, and you're also going to get a lot of other things with that. Um, but the defensive play that I want to encourage you to run is this nickel 55. We talked about this on the channel. It's, I, I call it the best blitz of Madden 18, and that's because of the coverage. You don't have to do anything. So all you do is man a line, press, shift your line to the right, left, and shift your linebackers to the right, and then you're done. You're set up. You can contain rush if you want. Um, it does sometimes make the blitz come in a little bit smoother. But as you can see, um, very, very difficult to throw against, and uh, with, with the way the – it's, it's again, guys, I think it's the best pass defense in the game. Two-man under is, once again, a really, really solid defense. And so I want to encourage you guys to use that as much as possible. The reason most people don't run two-man under is because they can't blitz from it. And now out of the nickel 55, you certainly can get some pressure. So, again, just think about that. Like I said, the pistol uh, ace twin flex strong power is really, really solid. Um of a run if I can get my spin I didn't spin right I'm gonna show you this one more time it's not looking too solid right now but uh, but yeah guys check out this pistol twin flex strong power use it the way I told you in the video uh, prior to this and you will find a lot of success like I said this run right here it just does a really really solid job of getting nice good seals on the edges and then if you use the spin right you can really spin it back like that and give you some extra yards. So just want to encourage you to check out this stuff. But be sure to check out that premium membership. I'm telling you, it will take your game to the next level. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a couple hours.